Hapolia, a world ravaged by an unexpected war, home to a peaceful but not pacifist species of amphibians, and invaded by the Arleian, a lizard species known for issuing typical war machines like armoured trucks or tanks in favour of simply running down their foes and dispatching them in melee. They are feared, and rightfully so, for the large lizards are generally considered the second biggest species in the galaxy to achieve spaceflight, and they are incredibly aggressive. But to their benefit they are not xenocidal, which ensures that for all their aggression and ill views, they are avoided rather than eradicated by a fearful galaxy. Interestingly enough, a newcomer species had decided to take offence to all of this posturing and extreme aggression from the Arleian. Humans, considered the tenth smallest species in the galaxy, had butted heads with the Arleian on several occasions, but it had never escalated into full-blown war. That is, until they invaded the homeworld of an ally, specifically the eyes of Hafolia, though as humanity would very quickly discover, this was not the only world to be attacked. This was the last straw. It was one thing to duke it out with a species that knew how to take a punch, but the eyes were small and on the path of regression as far as their technology was concerned, looking to be more in tune with their planets and shift away from traditional spacefaring means. As such, their weapons and defences would be no match for the Arleian warriors who even now prepared to march on the capital city. A tall warrior strode through the ranks, tail swishing beneath his crimson cape as he surveyed his forces. Fine warriors, each one blooded and a veteran of countless conquests. If Kalaxel willed it, they would be the ones to force the surrender of the weak eyes and ensure their subjugation was complete. Such a feat would bring great honor upon them, and when eventually they passed on, Kalaxel would welcome them into his hall with open arms. The army was nearly ready when there was a flash of light from just beyond their perimeter, and an oddly dressed human appeared. Their attire was formal, a rich blue color, and they wore a brimmed hat and brown bag. Thousands of eyes stared incredulously at the human as they looked around, nodded, and then approached them casually, as if they were merely a gathering of strangely dressed people and not a war party. I'm looking for Lord Commander Pojalu. The human called out, and Bojalu stepped forward, rising to his full height and absolutely towering over the human, who actually had to lean back just to look him in the eye. Who are you to seek an audience with me, and alone no less, a bold strategy for one as pathetic as your species is? Bojalu spoke, his voice rolling over the plains and his warriors chuckling. The human merely sneezed into a handkerchief, apologized and mentioned something about allergies, before lifting the flap on his bag and pulled out several rectangular pieces of paper, neatly folded and sealed with wax. I'm the mailman. I deliver the mail. I was told to get these to you and make sure you read them before I moved on. He said, looking at the envelopes before handing one up to Bojalu. The Lord Commander was surprised, then confused, as to why he would be receiving any sort of communications via the humans, let alone in such a primitive medium when a simple electronic communique would do. Carefully, Bojalu took the offered envelope between two claws and inspected it. According to the primitive yet neat ink markings upon the face, it had come directly from the seat of humanity's government and power, Earth. Turning it over, he noted that the wax seal was a rich, dark purple and bore a crest, one he'd seen plenty of times whenever he'd been present as honor guard for the human's imperial family. This was not just a letter from some governors or senators, but straight from the emperor's desk itself. With a snort, he sliced through the seal and plucked out the single sheet of paper within and began to read. From the office of his imperial majesty, Caius Velius Proximus. We, the Empire of Earth, hereby declare war against the Arlen hegemony for their acts of aggression against a sworn ally of humanity. We shall defend those we've sworn to protect, till either we emerge from the smoke and blood victorious, or we lay broken at the feet of our foes. 
Regardless of outcome, we shall ensure our enemy knows the depths of their mistake in earning our ire, and we hope that they shall take it into account when they next desire conquest. Let it be known that we shall adhere to our rules of warfare, but any actions the Arleian hegemony may undertake during the course of this conflict that violates the human Zeno rights of ourselves or the Easy shall be met with a declaration of total war. Such violations include, but are not limited to, the list grew quite tiny, and Pojalu had to squint and pull the paper closer just to read the many potential infractions that would cause a declaration of total war. A scaled brow rose at more than a few of them, and eventually he grew annoyed with the length of the list and skipped ahead. Should the Arlen hegemony adhere to these rules, then this war shall be conducted under the expectation that should one side emerge victorious that the defeated shall not be wiped from the face of the galaxy, or enslaved. At the cessation of the conflict, aid. Must her be provided to both sides as requested or needed to ensure the continuation of both peoples. Should one group fail to provide such aid, it shall be remembered and never forgiven. We thank you for your time, and may the best species win. Sincerely, the Emperor. Bojalu fumed and had half a mind to slaughter the human that stood before him, who was currently rocking back and forth on his heels as he waited for Bojalu to finish reading. Anything else, human? The Lord Commander hissed, his warriors hearing the threatening tone and perking up, long tongues licking their chops at the thought of eating their first human. Yes, sir, just this. Oh, and can I get your fingerprint right here? I need confirmation of delivery. He said, holding out both the second letter and a tablet. Bajalu snorted with annoyance but pressed his thumb to the tablet, watching as it scanned his fingerprint and beeped in confirmation. He then took the second letter and started to open it, noting that it was far less fancy than the first and seemed to have come from someone called General Hargrave. Thank you for your time. If you have any complaints, just give us a call, the human said, giving a casual wave before he vanished, presumably teleported back to his ship, if he had one. Bojalu huffed, even more annoyed now that he couldn't eat the human, but he had a letter to read, and so he pulled out the paper within the envelope and saw that the message was rather short. Dear Grid Reference Get Fucked the message made no sense to Bojalu. Why was he being told to get mated with? It made no sense to him, but it quickly did, when in the distance explosions began to appear, the rolling thunder of heavy artillery booming from miles away as the rolling barrage descended on their lines in an instant. And for the first time, the Arlian met their match. Aboard the Imperial Postal Service ship Visitor, the postman looked through his various letters that were as yet undelivered. Practically all of them were meant for war zones where the Arlen had begun their campaign of conquest against the Eyes. So many letters, so little time. He knew, of course, that there were others out there doing the same job he was, so his portion of the work was rather small, all things considered. Dropping the bag beside his chair, he placed his hands on the controls of his ship and sighed, locking in the coordinates for his next stop, jumping to FTL just as an Imperial counter-invasion fleet warped in. It was going to be a busy, busy week, for the post never sleeps.